and you may have trouble getting groceries delivered tomorrow. Many Instacart drivers are planning a one-day strike over current working conditions. CBS 2's Mike Puccinelli is live in Oak Park tonight with more on the workers' complaints. Mike? Jim, this is Pete's Fresh Market that you see behind me right now. It is one of more than 25,000 grocery stores all across America and Canada that partner with the online grocery delivery service known as Instacart. But now Instacart is accused of failing to serve its workforce. When most of us are ordered to stay at home, people like Ryan Parthmore are taking orders and heading into neighborhood grocery stores. I used to maybe have one or two orders pop up at a time. He's talking about now orders for groceries through the online delivery service Instacart. Now it's maybe 10 on my screen at once. That's since the COVID-19 pandemic was announced. People who normally would go to the stores themselves now are erring on the side of caution and paying people like Ryan to do what has suddenly become hazardous work. Has COVID-19 caused you to consider quitting? Um, it definitely made me consider not working for a while. But this senior kinesiology student is getting ready to graduate and begin pursuing a doctorate, so he needs the money. Definitely worried about it, but just a, it is kind of the job I picked. And so have more than 100,000 other people. But a group of activists called the Gig Workers Collective say people like Ryan are putting their lives at risk. They say Instacart is an $8 billion company that's sending its so-called shoppers into stores unprotected and for little pay. That's why they're calling a strike tomorrow. Ryan doesn't plan to participate, but he thinks pandemic-driven demand for Instacart service should enable the company to pay more for a job that has suddenly become dangerous. I think they might have the money to give a couple extra dollars per order, especially with how much busier the company's been. And as COVID-19 cases in America soar past 140,000, Parthmore expects demand for his services to also rise exponentially. But despite the risks, this 23-year-old says he'll continue to stand and deliver. I gotta make money and need to keep my source of income going. Now, Instacart tells CBS News that the safety of its shoppers, customers, and employees is the company's number one priority. They also have secured a large amount of hand sanitizer, which they are now trying to figure out exactly how to get into the hands of their shoppers. Reporting live in Oak Park, Mike Puccinelli, CBS 2 News. Jim? Mike, thank you.